Hi everyone, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been super busy with the holidays. And then also, um, I got new flowers in. And I'm going to show you those. And then I'm going to show you this little mini that I made. And I think I'm going to have to do a part two to do a tutorial on this. Because I only have ten minutes. I don't know how these other people have half an hour. Um, they only give me ten minutes. So anyway, you've already seen this one. The pinks. It's got some pinks and creams in it. And then when I asked what kind of what color everybody would like, a lot of people suggested the purples. And these are really beautiful. There's um, seven different seven different flowers, ten each, so a total of seventy flowers. And they're um, they're only nine ninety nine, so I think that's a pretty good price. And they're really nice quality, very pretty. So there's the purples. And then these are the creams. These you can um, mist or color with your re inkers or whatever. It's whatever color you want. But they're really a beautiful cream color. And they're, you know, they'll coordinate with just about anything. And the same thing. It's the same flowers. Seven different designs. Um, ten of each. And they come in this reusable container. So when you're done using your flowers, you can put other embellishments. And they stack real nicely too. So that's that. Now here's the album. I used I made it using one and a half of these um, large coin folders and I mean um, coin envelopes. And I'll like I said I'll make another video showing exactly how I made it. It's they're really fun. So I made a chipboard cover for it. Then I just have one of my little vintage images and one of my um, mince chipboards. Little doily, leaf flower. And then this little guy is just a little piece of vintage jewelry. And you can see he's missing some of his rhinestones, but I just thought it was a cute little bug. And then another little butterfly. Okay, let me see if I can tighten in a little bit. Okay. So like I said, I cut, well, I'm going to grab the pieces and just show you briefly. Sorry. So basically I folded the envelope and put it together and then cut it exactly in half. And so this is what the pages are. The pages are actually, the pockets are the envelopes. So in this one I have that little tag. See, that's a little envelope. It's one of my um, clock hands that I colored with the, oh, I think it's the metallic stays on and the copper. And then flowers for my pink set. A little, um, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while. I'm getting all tongue tied. A little die cut butterfly. This is this week's free image. I know, I'm, I apologize, it's been more than a week since I've done one, but this is what it is. So you'll get one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six of the little ones, nine of the big images. Really pretty, really vibrant pink rose. Anyway, I fussy cut that, put a little mat on here, and then that opens up. I just made some little butterflies, and we have plenty of space in here for a picture. Okay, and then the next page, again, is your pocket. Now, what happens, why there's not a pocket on both sides is because you use this flap that's on the other side, and you'll take your sheet of, car of printed cardstock, fold it in half, and then you're just going to tape it or glue it on either side of that little hinge and that gives you that extra page. Now in this one I went ahead and put the adhesive everywhere. Next time I'm thinking I might just put it you know on each side in the back and then leave this top open for a, even another pocket. Um, I didn't think of it when I was making this one. but So I pulled that one out already and then here's one of my little short front pocket, another little image. Love that one. And this is what I was just showing you. It's that flap. So that's just hinging 
on the flap of the envelope. Just some vintage lace, another little flower. A little die cut, it's more flowers. And then this is one of my little scallop note cards. I just tucked the back end of it behind that mat. And then, so that there's, I think that's just a cute little image. And then there's plenty of space here. So this is just a real small little gift album. It's just got those three pages. You can make it bigger. And then, you can see I left room for embellishments, so it kind of stretches. And I'll show you how to do that on the tutorial. Um, but that's it. So if you have any questions, um, I love to answer comments. Also, if you want to get on my list to get the, the free collage sheets, um, go to my blog, which on my um, the homepage for my YouTube, and I'll try to put it underneath. Um, go to my blog, like and follow me on my blog, and or then follow by, what is it? Follow posts or something like that. There's directions on the blog. And then email me, and I'll get you on the list, and these will be sent to your email automatically. You won't have to do anything. So that is that. The flowers are available in my exhibit shop, as well as um, these extra images. So, okay, that's all for right now, and I'll get going making that other video, and I hope to have that up um, probably today. Thank you. Bye.